Today we're going to take a look at two different kinds of rulers. We've already looked at our inch ruler, so we're going to take a look at that first. We're also going to look at a yardstick today. So let's start off with our inch ruler. This is a regular ruler that we've used before. It goes from 0 to 12 inches long. And remember that inches are the measurement that are a little bit further apart on the ruler. They're the bigger measurement. I'm going to start, I'm sitting at table 2, and I'm going to start by measuring one of my pencils from my table bin. So I'm going to put my pencil down on my desk, and when I line up my ruler, we want to line up the edge of the pencil with where the zero would be on my ruler. With this ruler, it happens to be at the edge of the ruler. So I'm going to line up the edge of my ruler with the edge of my pencil, and I can see that my pencil is about seven inches long. It goes just about to the seven. Okay. Next, I'm going to put my pencil back, and I'm going to take a glue stick. We're going to measure a glue stick from our table bin. So I'm going to put that down on my desk. And again, I'm going to measure up where the zero would be on my ruler with the edge of my glue stick. And I can see that this glue stick is just a little bit longer than three inches, but it's still closest to the number three. So we're going to say this is about three inches long. Okay. When we use a yardstick, we want to measure some longer things. A yardstick has three different colors in it, and it opens up to be three rulers long or three feet long. So this is a yardstick. One yard is three feet or three rulers long. So we're going to measure something bigger. I'm going to turn around here and we're going to take a look at our cubbies. Um, when I measure with my yardstick, just like a ruler, I'm going to line up the top of my yardstick with the top of my cubby. Okay, And I can see that this cubby is just a little bit longer than my yardstick. So I'm going to say this is about one yard because I definitely couldn't fit another yard down there. Okay, so we're going to say this cubby is about one yard. Let's see what else we can measure with a yardstick. Give me a thumbs up or something. Okay, so I came up to my smart board in my classroom, and I'm going to try to measure with a ruler. I can see that when I line up my ruler, I would need a lot of rulers to measure this smart board. It would probably take me a little bit of time to do it. So instead, I'm going to use a yardstick. It's a little bit bigger, so it'll be a little easier to measure. So I'm going to open up my yardstick. And just like before, I'm going to line up the edge of my yardstick with the edge of my smart board. Okay, now you can see that this smart board has a lot of space after the edge of my first yardstick. So I think I can probably fit another one. So I'm going to hold my yardstick where it is, and I'm going to put my finger at the end of the ruler so that I can move it and try to fit another one here. So here I'm going to mark it with my finger, and I'm going to move my yardstick to the edge. Okay. I'm going to start my next yard where I finished the first one. Okay, now we can see that this is not quite two yardsticks, but it's pretty close. We made it to the third foot, to the third ruler. So we're going to say that this smart board is about two yards wide. Okay, it's not quite there, but it's close enough, so it's a good estimate. We measure bigger objects with a yardstick, so what do you think you can find to measure with a yardstick? 